Could China or Russia sink a US aircraft carrier? Moscow recently announced it successfully tested its Zircon hypersonic cruise missile designed to attack sea and land targets, and they're confident their new weapon is unstoppable. The Russians claim this new hypersonic missile can fly seven times the speed of sound, carry a nuclear warhead, has a range of 620 miles, and can evade U.S. missile defense systems. Vladimir Putin says this is part of a new generation of missile systems that are more advanced than that of any other country. The tests come as Moscow's relations with the West are at their worst since the end of the Cold War. From tensions with Ukraine over Crimea to allegations of hacking and cyber espionage, Russia has seen itself increasingly isolated. One potential flashpoint is the Black Sea, where a recent NATO naval exercise spooked the Kremlin. Russian officials said they hope to arm all its new ships with hypersonic weapons. These missiles are too fast for air defenses. They're low flying and can also change direction mid-flight, making them undetectable. And it's safe to assume that many of these missiles are being designed with one target in mind, America's aircraft carriers. They're called four and a half acres of sovereign American territory that can go anywhere by sea. The ultimate symbol of US military dominance, America hasn't lost a carrier in combat since the Second World War. The nuclear-powered Nimitz-class carriers have an unlimited range. When it comes to defense, US carriers have state-of-the-art radars and always travel in large convoys. They include an entourage of submarines, cruisers, dozens of fighters, and signal jamming aircraft. Approaching a carrier strike group can be suicidal, but now things may be changing. Even though some Western experts have questioned how advanced Russia's new generation of weapons are, British officials have already voiced concern about the threat that Russian hypersonic weapons could pose to carriers. A senior British naval source told the Daily Mirror hypersonic missiles are virtually unstoppable with no method of protecting themselves against missiles like the Zircon. The carrier would have to stay out of range, hundreds of miles out at sea, adding that its planes would be useless and the whole basis of a carrier task force would be redundant. And it's not just Russia that Western fleets have to worry about. China has also been investing heavily in hypersonic missiles. American carriers have been a nightmare for Chinese military planners. Their presence helped deter an invasion of Taiwan in the 1950s, and in 1996, two carrier battle groups humiliated China by operating freely around Taiwan during a period of heightened tensions. Since then, China has invested heavily in anti-carrier capabilities. Its crown jewel is a DF-21 missile, dubbed the Carrier Killer. Shown off at a military parade in 2019, it's an anti-ship ballistic missile, which China says has a range of 2,700 kilometers. Its warhead is maneuverable and is highly accurate. Well, aircraft carriers are the pride of the American Navy. But what if there was a missile that could take them out in one hit from 900 miles offshore? New information that the Chinese have created exactly that type of weapon. But the U.S. isn't just waiting around either. Recently, the Biden administration proposed $3.8 billion for America's own hypersonic weapons. Other countries like India and Australia are also pursuing hypersonic technologies, either on their own or in partnerships. A new arms race involving hypersonic missiles is clearly already underway, with countries pouring in billions of dollars. 
This specific missile was built by Russia. China and the United States are also developing hypersonic missiles that could carry nuclear warheads and evade traditional defense systems. If that sounds like the makings of a Cold War-style three-way arms race, that's because it most definitely is. Testing vehicles at these hypersonic speeds, it's extremely expensive. It really is a competitive space race. The true capabilities of Russia's and China's hypersonic carrier killer missiles are still unknown, but recent tests prove that the US Navy's capital ship may not be unsinkable for much longer.